Hi, I'm Jennifer Carpenter, and I'm a senior at Mercy High School. Snap like the bomb! And this is Chemo and Carbs. I spent two hours attempting to write this. This thing you could barely consider art, and I tried. Oh, I tried to write about something else. I thought about my friends, or my family, or the pictures I've been taking, or the places I've gone, but I couldn't do it. My whole life is still manipulated by it. I haven't slept all night in almost a year. My dreams are non-existent because of the nightmares that are in control of my sleep. There's this repeating sound constantly playing in the background anytime something went wrong. The fevers or the chemo becoming too much, a button would be pressed to sound that alarm. And that, my dear friends, is called trauma, PTSD, if you will, because I'm still haunted by it. And I still have that stack of stickers. You know, that game that I'd play to help keep myself calm? How many yellow smiley face stickers can I get before you leave this chapter behind? By the middle of May, it was at least a half an inch thick. I guess that's why yellow is no longer happy. And every time I see the color orange, I'm reminded of the ribbon attached to that disease. And I can still smell that room, overwhelmed with the scent of cleaning solution and bleach. Everything had to be in pristine condition. And I know how each room is set up. In room 607, the bed was in the middle with the bench right next to the window where you had a clear view of Dodge Street with facilities right there in plain view. That was often the one place we could always see. Bitterly mundane was something someone once used to describe that, and I couldn't think of a better way to describe Fazoli's. It was the first place I went after you told me this disease was running through you. However, in room 614, the window was so small, you could only see the building itself, and the bench was next to the wall with the bed only a foot away. And I know it's annoying hearing my sob story about how for six months I was breaking down every day because after school I'd go to the hospital, put on a brave face, and pretend I was okay, only to have to do it again the next day. But going through that, watching someone you love go through chemo, it's not something you can forget. People say, it'll get better, you just need to stop worrying about it. I just want to scream, it's not as simple as it sounds, trust me.